guys, as you can tell obviously from the title of the video, I'm going to be doing a tag and this is the Sunkissed Summer Tag and this was created by It's Me Lexi One and I have the questions right here. It's obviously a tag about summer so let's get to it. Question number one is when did you or do you get out of school? Um, I finished school in late April, my last year of university, and I graduated in June of this year. So I am done with school. So I'm so happy about that. <laughs> beaches or pools? I would have to say uh, definitely beaches. Because I live in Canada, we don't really have, you know, like a beach beach. Like it's, you know, it's a lake and then a little bit of sand. I was born and raised in Peru, so I do prefer the beach. I think it's, you know, amazing. Are you going on any summer vacations? If not, what's your dream summer vacation? I'm not planning on going on any summer vacations anytime soon, at least not this year. I would love to go to Greece, like Santorini or somewhere like that. Maybe like even like Italy and just walk around, have, have some ice cream and relax and so not so much like a beach beach vacation but like a summer fun type of vacation. S'mores or ice cream? Uh, definitely ice cream. I love ice cream and I'm the kind of person that I tend to eat more ice cream when it's cold, like in the winter time in Canada, which is ridiculous. Even though I do love ice cream, I, like I said, I have it more in the winter. So, but between s'mores and ice cream, definitely ice cream. What's your most fun summer memory? School ends in December in Latin America, so it's like a full year. It's like from March or April till December, and so it's right before Christmas. And because it's summertime in Peru in December, we would rent a beach house and then spend like three or four months there. It's pretty different because obviously when you think of Christmas, you think of snow, you think of cold weather and all that, but we would literally spend Christmas at the beach. Does your skin tan or burn? It tans. I'm not like super, super pale, I don't think. <laughs> How do you wear your hair in the summer? Down, ponytail, ombre? It depends on my hair, like my hair color, my hairstyle, my haircut. Obviously, as you can tell right now, it's super short and it, this is my natural hair color. I tend to just wear it like this because I can't even like put it up in a ponytail because it does, I just can't do it, it's too short. But um, this is how I'm wearing it right now and it'll stay that way until the end of the summer, I think. Favorite summer nail polish? My favorite summer nail polish would definitely have to be, be this super super bright almost like neon pink it's from China Glaze and it looks like this and this one is in shocking pink and I love this one especially when you put it over like white nail polish like I have right now it just pops so so much and it's perfect a summer day outside in the pool or inside watching Netflix I'm probably gonna pick the Netflix uh, answer because it's just who I am. When it's nice and cool and crisp and kind of windy, I do like to go outside because it reminds me of like fall weather because I don't like super super hot humid weather. I just, ugh, it's too sticky and like, I'm like, no, no, no. I would stay in, watch some Netflix and then have some ice cream and just chill with the AC on. That's kind of like my favorite plan. Sunglasses or hats? Definitely sunglasses. I have these ones that I'm using right now which are from Ray-Ban and I think I've shown these ones before which are the aviators the the blue ones with like the blush kind of um what are these called like the frame I guess so I'm not really like a hat wearer I wear hats more in the winter time you know beanies and all that what is your song of the summer I don't know man something from like Linkin Park or something from Avenged Sevenfold I, those are like a couple of bands that I like so definitely those ones would be my summer songs and the new Linkin, Linkin Park record came out in June so that would kind of make it like a summer record and I know that's not like the typical you know summer song because it's not like upbeat and like poppy and all that but I mean it's one of my favorite bands so yeah I would consider that my summer jam I guess like that record, the whole record. Do you have a summer bucket list? Well, so far I have one thing planned. Um, so exciting. <laughs> August 24th, it's when it's the uh, the Carnivores tour show with Linkin Park, like I said, and 30 Seconds to Mars and AFI, which are three of my favorite, favorite bands. They're playing at the ACC and I'm super, super excited. 
I would say go into shows. That's my favorite thing to do in the summer. Bikinis, tankinis, or one pieces. I would definitely pick uh, bikinis. I have this one which is like super boring. I wear black all year long. So this is just a regular black bikini. I feel like it looks really classy and you know I also like the super bright colors. For the most part I feel like just black it goes with everything. The must have summer products. So it says product, just one product but obviously I can't pick just one. So first of all for the cheeks I love using this. This is the Josie Marin. It's the uh, the cheek jelly or jelly. It's basically a I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a gel blush, and it's awesome because you can use it on the lips as well. This one is in Poppy Paradise, and this has, I think, like 50% coconut water, so it's super, super good and healthy for the skin, and this is how it looks like, and it's just like a pinky red, and it's so, so beautiful. You can definitely build it up, and I feel like it's perfect for the summer because it's so lightweight. Then, obviously, for the lips, um, I would have to go with the Maybelline Baby Lips Strike a Rose, and it's just a beautiful fuchsia. It's obviously it's not going to look like this because it's a tinted lip balm, but that's the color right there. And this is so easy to use. You can just throw this in your purse. This one is the pink one. The one, I think it's like in Pink Punch or something. And this one looks like this, which is more of like a blue toned pink. They just give you a little bit of color, a little bit of pigmentation to the lips. They have SPF, so they obviously, you know, they protect you from the sun. And um, they're just so moisturizing and smooth, and I like these a lot. And I have a lot of them, so definitely these. I love like the eyeshadow pencils. Um, this one is by Rimmel. It's the scandalized one. It's, you know, I think it's like, it's waterproof. It's like, it's gonna last a super, super long time on the lids and it doesn't crease on me so I don't have to use a base under it. And I love this color because it's so universal and it's so easy to wear. So this is bulletproof beige and it's just a beautiful golden kind of champagne kind of color obviously waterproof mascara this one is from essence 24 hour volume mascara and this mascara definitely lives up to its name because it does last 24 well I don't know 24 hours because I've never had my, my mascara on for 24 hours but it definitely lasts a really long time it's just your average kind of mascara wand. I do like that the uh, the formula is kind of dry so it's not like a super liquidy um, formula which I, like I said I don't like. I like it that it's a little bit dry and it kind of sticks to your eyelashes way better. I don't know if you guys can see I'm wearing it right now. It doesn't give much length but it does give a little bit of volume. And then the last question is what's your favorite thing about summer? My favorite thing about summer is that the days are way longer. I love seeing people outside and having fun. Like I have more hours in the day to do stuff. So that's pretty much my favorite, favorite thing about summer. I will definitely send this to Lexi so that she can check this video out. Everyone's tagged. So hopefully you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!